stump buckets, front hoe buckets, stump wreckers, poor man's backhoe. These things, eh, they're called different, different names. Kind of dress it up, but they go on the front of a loader on a tractor or on a skid steer. By the way, I haven't shared that I uh, went back to a 333G. I got rid of that old, that old gem of a JCB. Even after all my videos, somebody still wanted it. Got another 333G there. And we got a mega wrecker down there. We're gonna demo today. It's a prototype. I actually showed you a short of that thing back in the fall. You're in my way here. I'm trying to show the comparison. Come on, bruh. Anyway, today we're gonna try it out. Now that mega wrecker is made for skid steers, big tractors. I got my big Kubota hiding behind utility tractors, okay? I don't even think I'd put it on a 4066R or L6060. Now, GWT does things a little different, okay? So we're conservative. Stump buckets can be dangerous. They can be a dangerous tool. And you may think, man, this looks small for this tractor, but it's, it's designed to protect the tractor, okay? Because what you hear of are of other manufacturers making buckets that are like this one, or like this guy here and putting them on tiny little tractors. And then guess what happens? Think about a, a, a torque bar when you're breaking lug nuts or something. You have that long lever force, okay? So when you have this point down in the ground on a stump and you have 12,000 pounds of machine or whatever, a couple thousand pounds, a few thousand pounds with a small tractor, you, you get all that force, all that leverage applied and things twist, something's gotta give, okay? And so that's when the loader arms bend and break. So that's why we have the mini wrecker, okay? The mini stump bucket, the mini front hole bucket. These two guys right here are designed for small tractors and man, they're still very useful. They're very versatile. You can dig holes with them, you can trench with them. You know, you pop out the stumps, get landscaping ripped out, haul boulders in them, all sorts of little tasks. I'm super handy, sure beats a shovel. Now we have them in JDQA and SSQA. Now, Technically, this is a, a 40 horsepower tractor. It's too small. This particular bucket is too small for this machine. We just have it on here for visualization purposes. But the idea, hopefully you can grasp that. So, exciting update. We've switched. So we, we did this with our, our forks too. We had some limited edition releases and they were really popular. You know, just kind of thought we would mix it up a few different times. And then we started having folks saying, hey, when are you going to get more of the green ones? We we're like, we're not really planning on it. And they're like, well, I'm not going to buy one until you get another green batch in. I'm like, gee, okay. So then, guess what? We just switched them all to green. So now, the JDQA are green. Don't worry if you have a Coyote or a Kubota, they're still black, okay? So all the SSQA are black, the JDQA are green. So that goes for our VersaForks. Oh, yeah, right back here. Show them these, Chris. Still got them on here. Versa forks that go on the front end loader or the three point hitch. Well, same thing right here on the, the skid steer version too. Okay, we talked about those in other videos. Anyway, so those are the, the mini wreckers. And then we have our heavy duty wrecker. And you JDQA folks, these are also gonna be green. Okay, black for the SSQA. All right. And then we will be coming out soon. Gotta test this thing. You know, I'm hoping we find out today if, uh, if I break this or not. It'd, it'd be kind of fun to mangle this thing up. This is the first prototype that, you know, this is why development takes so long because I'm kind of a, a log jam. Yeah, there are things to do, but I'm excited to put it to work today and, and see what happens. We'll see if it digs the stumps out. We'll see if it breaks it. I don't know, we'll find out. But utility tractors, skid steers, that kind of thing. Now, Common question for these HDs, and it'll apply to the Mega Wrecker as well. Will the JDQA version of this work on a John Deere utility tractor? Now, you utility tractor owners, listen up, because there is no standard quick attach on a utility tractor. I mean, it's like all over the place. So you're gonna have JDQA, SSQA, or global slash Euro, all right? Skid steer quick attach will work just fine. JD quick attach or JDQA will not work on a five series on a utility tractor. You can't even just say it's a John Deere quick attach because that doesn't mean anything in the utility tractor world, but JDQA, which is like the hooks on top, and you can get more room on this side. You got hooks on top, okay? Those stay the same. 
and you have the pins on the bottom, wherever they're at right there. On the utility tractor, the pin, there's two pins, okay? And there's a second pin that's further down. It's different spacing. It's not gonna work, okay? So if you have an SSQA, it'll work. If you have a global, we don't have that style either. It's not at this point worth the engineering effort to go through that because it's such a small market for that. And really even for the, maybe we'll come out with the Mega Wrecker with the five series style JDQA. I don't know, time will tell. Anyway, I don't want to confuse you, but I want to point it out. And for those of you that are keen listeners, you'll pick up on that. Okay, some commonality amongst these, all right? You're gonna see bolt-on teeth. These are AR400 tooth bars, and then grade two bolts, okay? Weak point is the tooth bar and the bolts, okay? If something's going to break, we want it to be the cheap, easy, replaceable stuff, not the more expensive bucket or the way more expensive loader, all right? So we want this to be the weak point. So these are meant to be replaceable. You'll see that in the listing, okay? So that goes for the, the Mini and the HD. We're trying out more of a, a backhoe style uh, tooth on the Mega Wrecker. You can see how that does. I don't know, we'll give it a shot. But as we go bigger in series, the steel is getting thicker, okay? So thicker steel as we go from mini to HD to mega. But we do carry over the, the sawtooth cutting edge. You'll see that on all these. I love this design, man. We went through quite a few different variations of it. Absolutely love it. Works great for sawing at roots, you know, and the base of stumps, things like that. Vines that you're trying to get out. Back and forth motion, works awesome. But yeah, what else, Chris? Chain hook. Yeah, it's got this chain hook, this slot for uh, a, a chain there too, so you can drag something back out if you want to. Common question we're asked, we've been kicking it around, but we have yet to find a way, man, it's really windy, huh? Mm -hmm. Yet to find a way to make it reasonably priced as an added grapple. You folks keep asking about that. It's not that we're not listening, it's just that you wouldn't like the price if we offered it. And so at some point, maybe we just come out with it anyways. And then those of you that want to buy it can, and those of you that don't, because it's too expensive, don't. But that's the reason we haven't, because we haven't found an, a, a, what I think is a, a reasonable, a reasonably priced way to provide that and to make it retro fitable to all the existing records that are out there. What else, Chris? Uh, that's all the features I can think of. It's a simple device. The yeah, only no thing... other connections, just the quick attach. No yeah. hydraulics or electric or anything like that. Uh, 18 inches front to back, 27 inches front to back. That one's thir is that one three feet, I think? That one might be three feet. Maybe 42 inches, I don't know. We'll get the measurements. It'll be in the listing. When you, Whenever this is released, you don't have to just come back to this video if you want. I mean, if you want to just listen to me talk, you're more than welcome. But you can go to the website, goodworkstractors.com, just search for wrecker or stump, and you'll find all the listings for the, for the stump wreckers that we sell. And all these products we ship. We ship them all over the country every day of the week. So, and the mini wreckers, these two here, we ship these UPS ground, so you don't even need to be home for a delivery. Now the mega wrecker and the HD wrecker here, they're gonna ship on a pallet and just, you know, you can still deliver it to you, but it's just on a semi truck. You gotta pick it off the back of the semi, no big deal, they don't weigh that much. This is around, oh gosh, 100 pounds, give or take, depending on the quick attach style. HDs, I think around 150, I remember right. The Mega, I don't remember. We weighed it, that was back in the fall. Let's just go with 225. I don't know, we'll see how close I am, but uh, somewhere right around there. But anyway, I'm tired of talking. I wanna go test this thing out and see if I can break it or if it actually works. But I got one more thing. Oh, okay. I'll, I could have done it as an overlay, but it's better if you talk about it. I don't think you mentioned trenching with these. I thought I did. I don't think you did. If you did, it's my fault. I'll know when I, by the time I edit the video. But you also, you dug at Richland uh, drainage uh, swales on each side of the driveway. Yeah. And then here you buried, Yeah. was it? The culvert. Culvert going across the drive right yeah. over there. Which is funny that you mentioned that because that culvert is buried under probably about 18 inches of dirt and then stone on top of it. But in the, we run a Facebook ad and it's showing it when I just set the pipe in there when it hadn't even been graded out or anything yet. I was just kind of getting a feel for it. And so it, it shows it kind of has a dip in the middle like the water would pool and 
folks say we get crushed when it gets driven over and all this stuff and i can't tell you we just had 11 dump truck loads of gravel brought here yesterday the day before i mean that that culverts had countless dump trucks over top of it i mean it's not going anywhere it's perfectly solid it's just funny how people people comment about things you know but yeah very versatile tool Folks, we are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. Well, that didn't take long, unfortunately. I was hoping to do a little work. But um, basically on the first dig, the digging part was fine. It was when I went to go like this, rock it up. This back plate, it's the same back plate that we use on the HD. And this top steel here just isn't thick enough, isn't uh, durable enough. We're gonna have to reinforce that up there. But you can see where it didn't break at any wells, but it just bent the steel right at the at the uh, SSQA points and just flipped it up. And I put it back on to try to take it easy and do it again, but the damage was already done on there. I was hoping it would, if it was gonna break, it would break in a different area so I could have some fun. But that's how it goes. That's why we do this testing. So that said though, I need to point out, cause we had a, I wouldn't call it a failure, but I, you know, we, an area of improvement that needed to be done on the heavy duty record years ago when we did the testing on there in a video of a prototype and it like bent part of the back plate. And then for years and probably forever, I'll have people that ask me, did you fix that issue with the JDQA? And I think it should go without saying that of course we're gonna fix issues so that they don't happen in the field on the actual products that we're selling, right? We're just kind of taking you along for the journey and we'll fix this. You won't get a version that will bend or break like this in the field. We've sold probably, I don't know, 2,000 or more buckets. And I think we've had maybe 10 failures and half of those were because folks didn't reach out and contact us and bought minis for way too big of machines. That's it. Like it's like a fraction, just a tiny fraction. So these buckets are built well and we'll get this issue fixed up, but you don't have to ask if we if we corrected the issue or not, because we're obviously going to correct it, make sure it's good to go. Overbuilt as far as the critical areas need to be so that it works well, still protects your machine, gets the job done. You can see those roots though, even on the two little passes that we got done, rip those things out. Yeah, it really shredded. I can't That's wait to get it going though. To be honest, I like anything I can do with my 333G. That, this is just such a fun machine. Man, it's super capable. The funny thing is though, we ran our heavy duty wrecker, which has the same back plate on a 333G. And the only thing that bent were the teeth, which at the time we were using, uh, we weren't using AR400 teeth, we were using a, um, a soft steel, some kind, I can't remember what it was. And so I, the heavy duty withstood this just fine. I think it's because there's the extra length and so again, talking about those extra leverage points like we talked about earlier, it's 50% longer, that's what it is. So the HD is 50% longer than the Mini, and this is 50% longer than the HD. So that extra 50% of length puts that much more 
torque and load and leverage on this plate back here. And so that's why this plate is the weak part that, that failed us. And so we learned. We'll be back with Prototype 2.0. But in the meantime, the Mini and the HD are available. They've been available for years now. They're good to go. JDQA, SSQA. Any questions, reach out, let us know. Again, go to goodworkstractors.com to place your order. I want to thank you so much for taking time out of your day to stop by. I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.